What's up guys, back with another video. Today's video is another episode of Today in Tech. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First up, Samsung announced their next big event and they're gonna make a scheduled appearance at MWC 2014 or Mobile World Congress for those of you who are unfamiliar with the event. Now Mobile World Congress 2014 will take place on Monday, February 24th and the event will begin at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. The event titled Unpacked is where Samsung is expected to unveil their next flagship smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now the S5 is said to have a metal body, three gigabytes of RAM, next generation SOCs with different variants using either a 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 805 or a two gigahertz Exynos 6 Octa. Now the display size should grow to around 5.2 inches and support a screen resolution of up to 2560 by 1440 and possibly receive a 128 gigabyte storage option. Next, Google has came up with five new games for Google Glass users with voice invocation. So you would say the phrase, okay Glass, play a game. The five new games include Tennis, Balance, Clay Shooter, Matcher, and Shape Splitter. Now you will look a little ridiculous as you will be using your hands and head to play the game. So for now, I would refrain from playing the games in public. Next, the new PlayStation 4 update supports Sony's new pricey wireless headset. The new version 1.6 update allows for full support for both regular Pulse and Elite Edition headphones, giving players 7.1 channel virtual surround sound as well as virtual chat through Sony's official hardware. Next, the Pebble App Store has been released for both iOS and Android, including over a thousand apps to choose from with over 700 registered developers. Now the new app for both platforms look extremely polished and is an overall pleasant experience to use. Next, HTC says they have solved the smartwatch battery issues and they plan to launch wearables this year. HTC's chairman has stated that they started looking at smartwatches many years ago. The chairman went on to state that he has also solved the LCD lighting issue. HTC is said to be releasing their version of a smartwatch by the holiday shopping season. Next, Google Chromecast SDK released to developers. Developers are now able to start making Google Cast ready applications on Android and iOS. While the Google Cast SDK has been available since last year as a developer preview with certain restrictions attached, Today's launch represents the first finished version of the SDK. Next, new Galaxy S5 Zoom pops up as a possible product released at the Samsung Unpacked event. Some new paperwork has surfaced showing a photo with a $520 price tag on a device that has yet to be released. However, Samsung Galaxy cameras are often listed as Samsung cameras. This device has the word mobile added to the name. Next, Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, thinks Apple should make an Android phone. Steve was quoted as saying, there's nothing that would keep Apple out of the Android market as a secondary phone market stating that they could then play in both smartphone arenas. Now Wozniak is correct, technically there is nothing stopping Apple from releasing an Android phone considering Android is open source, but Apple would need to negotiate with Google for permission to include apps like Gmail and Google Maps. Next, the Nexus 5 in red is now available on the Google Play Store. The Nexus 5 with the timely red exterior is now available on the Google Play Store. The red Nexus 5 is identical in specs to the black and white models and is available for $349 for the 16GB edition and $399 in the 32GB flavor. Next, Facebook releases Facebook Paper. The Paper app takes the standard Facebook newsfeed and recreates it with horizontally scrolling screens and also provides a new way to post to Facebook. Now I uploaded a video going into further detail along with the download link which I'll leave linked down below in the video description. And lastly, Microsoft offers $100 to ditch your PS3 for an Xbox One. Microsoft is offering $100 towards an Xbox One if you trade in your PlayStation 3. The trade-in deal is only available at Microsoft retail stores in the US and it applies to the PS3, Xbox 360S, or Xbox 360E. The promotion reduces the $100 gap, bringing the Xbox One price to $399, which is the price of the PlayStation 4. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. Be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.